Hello everybody, this is Money Mom. Welcome back to the channel. I want to talk to you guys about six ways that I saved $17 at the grocery store last week. Let's get started. You guys know I primarily shop at Aldi's and I go on Fridays. Our monthly grocery budget now, because I've reassessed it, is $450 a month. That includes every Friday. Some months are five Fridays, some are four. That includes any type of holiday food, food gifts, any kind of food that I would want to order online. That includes if I want to go to Costco, Sam's. That includes everything. It does not include, however, restaurant eating. I want to share with you the six ways that I shaved $17 off my budget and something else I did to help me save money. The first one is I stayed away from the Aldi fines. That's one of the things that has notoriously eaten up a lot of my budget money because a lot of the Aldi fines are higher cost because a lot of them are not store brands. And a lot of times I think, oh, it's an Aldi fine, so it has to be a great deal. Aldi does have some great prices, but just because I get it at Aldi doesn't mean that I'm getting the best value and the best price. And I just don't need to be buying all the Aldi fines. So I stayed away from the Aldi fines. That saved me quite a bit of money. Number two, I used my calculator and I kept adding up throughout the store. So I was very aware of what I was spending. Number three, I, as I was starting to approach my budget, I started putting items back and reassessing while I was shopping. That also saved me money. Number four, what I really did is I looked for clearance items. For example, I got some chicken legs that were half off, and they were only $2 for a great big, uh, you know, I guess, tray of them. And I actually got two trays instead of buying chicken breasts. So I saved $8 just doing that. Number four, or number five, I was buying less processed foods and I didn't buy a lot of other things that I would have wanted, maybe a lot of Valentine type items. And number six, I didn't buy any keto items because those items, the protein powders, the protein bars and all of that is expensive. You buy a box of protein bars that could be anywhere from five to six dollars. So that saved me about seventeen dollars. I spent eighty three dollars versus spending a hundred to a hundred and twenty dollars so I at least saved seventeen which was really good the other thing is I was gifted a fifty dollar gift card so I actually only spent forty four dollars but I don't include that fifty dollar gift card on my budget so what I'm going to do with that extra money in my cash envelope system is the next time I go to the bank and I go to the bank around the 24th, 25th of every month, I'm going to take that money that I saved and I'm going to put it in my savings. So that's what I'm going to do with that money. You know, we don't have to directly cut our grocery bill in half, but let's say you do go to the grocery store once a week. If you were to shave even $10 a week off the budget, it can really make a big difference. If any of you are spending less at the grocery store and less on food, and you've tried some tips that are helping you, I would love to know what are you doing to save money today. That's all I have to say. I love you. I appreciate you. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.